Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. We're going to play a little bit of Crusader Kings 3 today. It has been a long, long, long while since we played any CK3. I want to say it's almost, it's probably almost been a year, give or take. Uh, but we're going to be playing the After the End mod today. After the End is like a post-apocalyptic mod set in the United States, Canada, uh, Mexico, all, all of North and South America. Like, like, it's actually kind of absurd. Like, we can zoom out here. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty big. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, but we're going to be playing today as the Kingdom of Ontario. We're going to play the King of Toronto, basically. Uh, because that's basically where I live. So it makes sense. Uh, so our goal for this campaign, really, first, well, first and foremost, is that we want to get all of our Niger territory. We're the King of Ontario, but we're stuck in Toronto. And if we can, right, like the, the end goal, I think, will try to be to form the Kingdom of Canada. I, I think that makes the, the most sense uh, for this run. But we are just down here. We're in Toronto. We have 194 gold, making 7 ink, uh, gold per month. 70 prestige is not too bad. 400 piety is pretty good. 156 for now. We're pretty obscure at the moment. Uh, our king, we are King Morley of Ontario, 25 years old, we are compassionate, we are just, and we are zealous, we're fortune builder, we're part of the United Church, and we are of the Sixer culture, Sixer is just what people like in Toronto are called, um, we are from the House of Young, and I love, I, I love our crest, it's just a fucking raccoon holding a horseshoe, it's golden horseshoe is like this area of Canada, and it's a little raccoon because Toronto's a little kind of filthy sometimes, <laughs> Um, so we are, our current faith is that we are, yeah, we're United Church, which is a, uh, well, originally one of the many offshoots of Protestant Christianity in Toronto, the United Church differs from its fellows by its beliefs that the Holy Spirit acts through all faiths, and that God's will therefore be best understood through dialogue with other creeds. Through interfaith services, adherents to, uh, invite members of other faiths to their holy spaces to perform their own rituals, as so to open new pathways to the divine. The church retains many elements of traditional Protestant Christianity, believing that Bible is the God's best, uh, most direct uh, revelation for humankind, and that communion is a holy act. So, our faith. Can I click on this here? We're adaptive, we have interface services, we have options for the poor. Um, essentially, what that allows us to do is that every single other faith, we just consider them astray. You know, we have evangelical uh, Christianity down in, like, the south. They're astray, and we're astray, because they're both different, uh, Christian faiths. Makes sense. But most of the time, like, if we go, let's just say to, uh, voodoo, uh, the voodoo religion down here in, um, like, New Orleans and a little bit in, uh, Haiti. We also consider them astray, even though they're a very, very different faith than, uh, Protestant Christianity. They consider us hostile, because we are a very, very different religion. And if we go all the way down to, let's say, uh, Zion? Zion? I don't know how you pronounce this. But they just straight up consider us evil. But we still consider them astray. So we, we're very accepting of other faiths right now. And I think that could come into play, especially when we annex more and more territory. Because the United Church really is just Southern Ontario. Because it's, you know, it's a Christian faith uh, based in Toronto. It makes sense that it's not really anywhere else. Um, that, that's kind of where we're at now. Our culture is that we are a sixer. We're an egalitarian uh, culture. We have mar uh, equal marital opportunities. We speak iron tongue. Uh, we have equal inheritance. Cosmopolitan elitism. Metal workers and cultural bending. But I think you are... You make our army more expensive, but our army is a little bit tougher, which is nice. I'm also going to quickly... Um, oh, can I go like... It has to be 10 or not? Okay, let's just go take this down by 10%. But there's been a lot of, there's a lot of detail in this mod. I would say like an absurd amount of detail. It, it's actually still, it is still too loud. Uh, settings. Picking on the 40. Like if we go down into uh, the Thames, and we go over to the Barony of Hamilton, there is a religion here. Which is just a Toronto based offshoot of, of, uh, of Islamic faith. And it's like, who, I, I, that's, I don't know, that's, that's just surprising to me that they would, uh... I think this might be the only province in the entire game that sell, that has this holy site. And it's basically just like a 
e egalitarian Islamic faith, kind of. They also have holy sites. Toronto, Manhattan, Detroit. Probably... Well, every holy site has more, right? Montreal. Should be a uh, fifth one. I think all... Don't, don't all religions have five? I guess not. Actually, what are our holy faiths? I want to check that first and foremost. This is... Uh, that's wrong. You were galvanizing assembly, which is a... I mean, most of our, most of our actual, uh, country doesn't even believe in our, uh, our, our religion. But if in, a, in the north, we've got this, um, galvanizing assembly faith. If you go down to Peel, they're Sikh. So, like, most of our country doesn't even support our religion right now. We gotta convert them. But they shouldn't get, like, too bad of a penalty. I mean, even though they're hostile towards us. Because we're accepting of them. At least I think that's how that I think that's how that works. But our holy sites, I mean, we are organized. You Toronto, we've got Brantford, uh, we got Manitoulin, Ottawa, and then probably maybe Vancouver, Winnipeg. Okay, I don't know if we're ever going to get over to Winnipeg. That seems a little bit uh, far away, but we should be able to get the um, at least four of our holy uh, sites. Actually, what? This is R, okay. So right now, you are a different faith opinion plus 10. Okay, that's actually really, really good. Because, again, we don't... Uh, most people in our country don't support us. You are going to be dip uh, diplomacy per level of fame plus 1. You are dread gain and naval speed. Okay. The main limit plus 1. Direct vassal opinion plus 5. What's the one in Winnipeg? Is that, like, the good one? Diplomacy plus 2. Yeah, yeah that, that is kind of, like, the good one. So, we probably should get advice encyclopedia. Open for an industrial. Okay, this actually doesn't open. Maybe because I'm in the uh, the faith map mode. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Advice on royal court. Don't need you. Oh yeah, royal court. I have not actually even played ZK3 since uh since royal court. I have no idea how this actually works. We got our throne room here. We got us, your martial vassal and knight. I probably should get married, huh? I would like to get someone, so this is a potential alliance with the Kingdom of the Seven Council Fires. Which is, yeah, down here in, like, the Great Plains area. I mean, I mean, I prefer someone a little bit more local. Like, you would not accept vassalization, right? We are negative 61. We are your rightful liege. Cultural acceptance. What about, like, you over here? Would you, uh... You're, you're the Countess. No, I want to talk to your Duke. You hate me. You have a, you're a claimant of my kingdom. Okay, that actually, that might be an issue in, in going into the future. Okay, so who do we have? Potential alliance with Turtle Mountain. I don't know where that is. They're Metis, Lakota. Chicagoan? At least there's someone who's, like, close by. They're also Christian, so that's something, right? 16, greedy, temperate, and calm. You're really good at stewardship. We're 3, 4, 15, 6, 9. Probably actually want someone with, like, good diplomacy here. We can marry somebody from Dixie. Where are you from? You're like way down like the northern part of Florida. You're 19 years old, gregarious, brave, generous. I mean, it, may, it works for us. You're Ontarian. City of Colin. We actually don't know where Colin. What is? It? I think that's actually one of our vassals. Let's let's marry you. You they will accept. Yeah, I I think we sent that proposal in. We're only 25. They're 19. I think it's, I think this is fine. And we got an alliance all the way down in uh, in Florida. I don't know how useful that's going to be for us in the long run because, hey, it's Florida and we're all the way up here. That's fine. We got no player error. Well, we're going to make a kid soon. And decision available. In order to be a successful ruler, I must actually rule the various dilemmas and situations that arise in my sphere of influence. What what do you actually do? So now I have to I, now I have to actually learn an entire uh, game mechanic, um, which might be a little. Uh, can I hold court? Besides your authority, court artifacts. We don't have any artifacts. How modest fashion, modest food, small lodgings, and few servants. We're paying point eight. I mean, I guess we could pay a little bit more. Guest recruitment costs. I mean, really just, like, more... Gusts are more likely to stay. Monthly prestige goes up. 0.4, though, is pretty, uh... Well, I guess it's actually 0.4 up from 0.2. 
Stress loss, stress loss. How much prestige we get? We got 3.7. You know, we can probably go for a decent fashion. I think, I think that makes sense. Okay, so... Yeah, point four. What, what do you actually... Inactive level, inactive level two. Granted level two. Locks with still royal favor counselor act. This will get us up to, I think, level three. At least I think that's what this arrow is showing us. Small lodging, no effects, few servants, endless servants, 0.8. It's actually, you know, it's actually not that expensive. We're 84th in the world. Number one is Brazil. Number two is California. Holy Re Columbia Confederacy. Um, the, the Inca. You know, overall, I, I think being 84th is not too, too bad. Actually, are we, the, like, the worst? Or is that just showing us our placement? Because there's got to be more than 84 countries in the world right now. Um, personal scheme power plus eight. So basically doubles that. Guest recruitment cost. You know what? We'll just go some servants. It'll raise our price by 0.4. Or type diplomatic. Administrative. So tyranny gain minus 20. Per Actually, we're level one right now. I'm assuming. Increase offer vast acceptance. Build time goes up. Construction cost goes down. I mean, those both sound per 500 prestige. You know what? Let's just keep it as is. I will apply these changes. Thank you. We now have decent fashion, some servants. And let's freaking go. And you know artifacts, but that's okay. Get me, get me out of this. We can hold court. You know, okay, let's let's hold court. Cause 100 prestige. Let's hear petitioners. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors to the hall. A stream of people f file in. So I'm lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way to simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased and all face towards the uh, mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call upon them. Okay, we'll call the first petitioner. My lord, my steward, Mayor Waffa, takes the floor. Um, I have an idea to prove taxation. You can send surveyors to question your subjects about every property, its name, owner, extension, value, and how many people and animals they have. So 110 gold. We gain, we're very, very, we're compassionate and just, so this would basically make us want to kill ourselves immediately. Each vassal pays five gold. Yeah, I think that seems reasonable. We'll proceed with that. A hero on the frontier. Over the last few days, I heard uh, tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the calm people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero goes by the name Karina, has been defending the small folk from the Haudenosaunee raiders, and now travels the ways of Toronto to seek an audience with me. So let's see, we get at least 55 gold, and you join our court. Are you, um... Okay. You are 20 years old, honorable venture, unmarried, located in New York. Every other night hates us. You grant a uh, Karina a county currently held by someone else. I, I honestly, we pay 110. I don't have 110 pounds. You gain 75. I mean, I get some stuff. Lose 30 stress because we're just. <laughs> You're a peasant, nothing more. I I don't actually. How many knights do I have? I don't think I have that many. You know what? I'll pay the 55 gold because I don't want to take major stress right now. All vassals like me a little bit more. But I don't have that many vassals. You know what? I, I would be... I'm fine having a good night. What's your prowess? Prowess of 24. I think our prowess is like... Our prowess is 3. Okay. I, I think this makes sense. We'll, we'll get you into court. The end is nigh. As soon as it uh, is turned to speak, the actual man in front of me screamed, The end is nigh. Signs are clear and everywhere. The infidels are everywhere, undermining us and rope beyond the border and inside our own realm. Their judgment is upon us. Gain 250 uh, piety. Repent now, for the day is nigh. Take the fool out of my sight. Burn the heretic. We gain 30 um, stress. Speak 60 stress because we're compassionate. We're zealous. We will lose. Uh, you know what? For zealous, abstaining from wine. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Seems fine by me. My business is done. Get me the hell out of here. We, I don't think we actually even unpause the game quite yet, but we'll get there. Don't worry. Lifestyle. I mean, we're our stewards. So, you know what? Let's go for stewardship here. 
and give me a plus 10% wealth for now. I think that seems quite nice. I know we don't have an heir. Don't worry about that. Court physician we don't actually need. Um, Marian, royal, commoner. Who is our... I want to look at my court. My council. My wife should help me in court politics. There we go. We get a nice 10 boost off of that. Fantastic. Mwah. Our court chaplain doesn't like us very much. I think you should... Um, Convert faith. What's your chance on this? 0.19 or 0.16? I mean, they both hate us. I guess we'll convert the Sikhs in Peel first. Five years on this. You hate me. Cultural acceptance minus 15. 50% less than, uh, as you can speak, iron tongue. So we speak the same language, so she doesn't hate me as much. That's nice. Ambitious, short reign. You're cynical. Apparently, at some point, I insulted you. I don't remember when that happened. A lot of people actually don't like me very much. I would like you, foreign affairs, no, do domestic affairs, please. You're zealous. Are you different religion? You are a different religion. Would you, would you, uh, convert? You might accept. You lose 10 opinion on me, but you become my faith. Are you, are you also, you're Sikh. Our marshal is Sikh. United Church, United Church, sure. Everyone else. My wife actually is not. Oh, my wife's, my wife's. Uh, Christian. That, that's good enough for me. Will you accept? You said no. Wait, yes? I seek wisdom in your faith, but I hope you understand that a long winding path that is the darkness and the light. Perhaps if you promise to support me in whatever I need, the journey may be an easier one. I'm gonna say yes. That does make you like me a little bit more. You also might accept, but you don't like me very much. You know what? Let's just sway you a little bit. Swaying is kind of broken in ZK3, if I remember correctly. Fantastic. And we can declare three wars on Hironia, Trent, and the Thames. I mean, all of them kind of seem bad. Like, they're all bigger neighbors than we are. 14, 15, 18. We have 19. Like, we do have the most amount of units. You're organizing army, train commanders. Manage royal guards. I mean, it seems fine. You are currently disrupting schemes. Fine by me. Collect taxes. Domestic affairs. Okay, I, I think all of this seems pretty uh, reasonable. A wedding celebration. You gain 130, 135 gold or 350 prestige. Give me the gold for now. Thank you very much. And Mil Milton Patriots. With the Vine Patrina faithful set from every corner of the Blasphemous Patriarch Zacharias has decided it's time to, for all words, St. Peter Boulevard. Uh, so this is in South America. Yeah, you're people who actually worship uh, Bolivar. Okay, so that that's fine. I'm not too worried about what they're going to be doing all the way down there. And this is for, we want a court physician. Food taster, powerful agent, hostile steams against us. Uh, Cavassal, very restrictive. So you are, you have low taxes. That's, that's fine. Honestly, that's, that's not the worst thing that you could have demanded a hook for. Okay, service, uh, survey complete. 30 years, we get 5% more uh, taxes from our vassals. I actually don't know if that's actually very good. We paid 110 gold for it. I don't know if that's actually going to make uh, make us any money. Reading's my leash. Call to war. This is against... I like how you're wearing a fucking, like, football helmet. Where is this? Are you fighting some rebels, I'm assuming? Yes. If I had a cl I think I'd lose prestige. I might as well accept. I'm not going to actually send troops down there. Because it's, you know, halfway across the goddamn world. But they can deal with that on their own. They, they can have a good time. Are you in a war? You are at war. You're defending against... A war against tyranny. I mean, I would like... What, what is my cost of belly actually against you? Seize a bunch of Dirgeard counties. I mean, that would be nice. 3,000, but that is, I think, including our um, decent quality, decent quality. Well, we got, the thing is, we have the Jura claims against basically all of our neighbors. 1998. I'm assuming that's the most uh, we can get. Seven knights, unraised. I could train more units. Raise all armies, men at arms regiment. Unraised is 2.4. You know, onagers are usually pretty good. 
It's not showing me their stats, but... Actually, Onagers or, or Mega now is the more uh, advanced thing here. I think we have to go to you and then innovations. We're in the Silver Age. Your Mega Nels. Okay, so Mega Nels are the improved version. Oh, we already have some Mega Nels. Full main is 0.3, unraised 1. I'm going to increase you to size 2. Goes up a little bit. I'm going to increase you to size 4. Okay. Just having um, uh, Mega Nels are really good because, again, sieging stuff is, is a powerful thing. Again, you're at war. 2,100 men. 16 from levies. A lot of light footmen. The Megan House. We are mostly... Um, we got a lot of armored footmen, which I think will be beneficial for us. Every quarter, we lose 70 gold. I don't think I have that much money. We can either take a 70 or we get outwitted. I mean, it's a 78% chance that we, uh, we made a great deal. Let's freaking go. Fantastic. Again, I'm not going to send my units over there. I don't think it makes any sense for us right now. We got 22, 8 out of 5 coldings. I would like to kill you at some point. Inspired person can be sponsored. Foremost. Alley rivalry between metal some fighters is to be expected. The growing discord between Karina and Elf is souring the mood in court. So you are of 24. You're f that you know you, that's my wife. Look, I'm not gonna let my wife duel you. Are you out of your mind? Are you are you kidding me? They can have training blades. You're on the same side. We spend six court grandier. I don't know where that is actually located in here. I don't know which grandier I have. You become wounded, which is still, like, not great. But I'm compassionate. I, I can't just let him fight. Also, one of them is my, my wife. And you become rivals. No matter what, you become rivals. Oh, no, that has happened. You know what? I mean, six. You know what? Let, let's, uh, let's take their... Give them training swords. Hey, we're now grandier level 3. Fantastic. I'm assuming that means some good stuff. And our wife has won the duel. You'd love to see it. Aren't you the peasant we just hired? Like, you, you, should, you should know your place, okay? <laughs> you, what are you doing? My wife is pregnant. Let's freaking go. Join Liberty Wars Defender. Like, I'm not, I, I don't want to join you. Are, are you out of your mind? One of your I guess, has an inspiration. It can be sponsored to create an artifact. Uh, claims? Not, okay, nothing in here. Or grandier inspirations. You are my guest. We can sponsor you. Recruit to court. Gain 40 opinion. We spend 50. You know what? I'll spend 50 gold. 50 gold is not too, too much. There we go. We will fund that up. We have a new perk. 15 Renown or 100 Prestige. You know what? Give me 15 Renown. Renown is more of a long time uh, thing because it affects everybody in our entire dynasty. Garrison size was 20%. I mean, Garrison size is usually pretty good. We need to defend our own uh, territory. I don't like how you have this many units. I like how you have even less. Do you have any allies? You're my rival. You know what? I would love to kill my own rival. We can purchase a truce. You would never accept this. You're negative 45. Negative 45 is not that bad. You're negative 7. There's negative 2 on this. We probably... If I um, improve relation with you, you probably would accept. Actually, what about the rest of you? Offer vassalage, negative 375. Because probably we don't... We don't border you. So I think, yeah, well, we'll try it. See if we can get... I mean, you're... The problem with you is that you're a very, very, very powerful vassal. But I could still utilize you in some ways. I think I do want to declare war on you, though. 
or does your territory? I mean, what do you have? Um, development 11, development 8, 9, and 13. We can't get our way down towards uh, Golrek yet. So we can take Bradford, Barry, or we can go to Fergus and you. Well, I mean, we probably just want to take whatever gives me uh, one. This actually allows me to border these two people. So, yeah, I think we want to take Simico. Of all the places we would like to uh, conquer. So, let's jure on Simico, please. You hate me, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. And I think with the war declaration, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.